Hi Capricorn and Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. I hope you guys are well. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So know to take what fits and leave the rest. I feel like my I feel like my video is lopsided for some reason. If it is, please don't mind it. What's important is the reading. Spirit. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Please and thank you. This is going to be quick, too. I have to do the water signs. I realized I didn't do the water signs this week. I also realize... Ooh. Capricorn. That's you. This is you or it's somebody toxic or toxicity within yourself or some toxic energy around you. Codependency. Overindulgence. Doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be somebody in your energy. But I also have the two of wands. This is like somebody planning. This is first steps for someone. Planning your future. What else do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you. I have the seven of wands. This has to do with standing your ground, protecting your territory, protecting your energy, having boundaries. Some sort of challenge. Messages and guidance. This is you, Capricorn. There might be a decision you have to make soon, and you're going to have to stand your ground in regards to that decision. You may have to protect your territory. But this could also this isn't this does not have to be a bad thing necessarily. This this could just be a matter of you. Keeping your word to yourself, standing your ground and keeping your word to yourself. Like when you say you want to, you're, um, the next time you meet somebody, you're not going to allow this, you're not going to allow that. And you have these standards and these rules. It's about you keeping those rules to yourself. Or excuse me, you honoring those rules for yourself. You may honor your word for other people before you honor your word to yourself and you don't hold yourself to those same standards as far as keeping your word like you do for other people. You are a part, some of you are, and I've done this too, it's like I'll commit to something for someone and I'll do that. But there have been times that myself as a Capricorn, I haven't even committed and kept my word to myself. Or if I have boundaries, I, I let them go for the sake of, of doing something or going somewhere or being with someone. And this is a no. You're going to want to take a leap of faith, and that's great. But with that, that leap of faith, don't forget. Don't forget your commitment to yourself, your promises to yourself, your word to yourself. And then I have the Emperor card. It has to do with respect. Your boundaries for yourself that you have and those boundaries for yourself that you do not let people push and take advantage of will make them respect you. The first word on this card is respect. It's all about respect. You standing your ground you having 
that control, that stability. Hmm. That focus on what's important to you. Oh. You're going to have this person that's going to come in charming, possibly. I don't know why I feel like some of you are going to have a past person that's going to try to come up. They're going to try to pull up. And I feel like... It's somebody that you moved away from because they hurt you really badly. Or you're going to have somebody test your boundaries. And they're going to come ch uh, charming and sly. And Mr. Rico Suave and Miss Rica Suave. And you're going to have to move away from this person. So that you do not get betrayed and so that you do not get hurt. What happens? If you disregard your boundaries for this person, it, it's not going to go anywhere. This, this is a lack of progress. Immature, underachiever, mischance. <laughs> They're going to have secrets. There's going to be things that you don't know. I am going to say also, take your time. Don't rush into anything. We have the King of Wands. Again, this is about you taking control. And there may be a King of Wands that comes into your energy. I have the Five of Pentacles. There's going to be some sort of lack or feeling left out in the cold. I feel like if you entertain this person, you're going to have that feeling of being left out in the cold or some sort of emptiness that you may have experienced in the past. I have the hermit card. There may be a need to go into hermit mode when you deal with certain types of energies as a way to protect yourself, especially if you're the type of person that doesn't want to hurt a person's feelings and be straightforward. Go into hermit mode or just reflect and look at the lessons. Remember, Saturn is a planet of lessons. You're wanting the Ten of Pentacles. Everyone you meet is not capable of providing you with the Ten of Pentacles or helping you reach the Ten of Pentacles. Everyone doesn't have the same desire and wants that you have, Capricorn. That's something you have to remember. I just, I didn't see the card. What's in store for Capricorn? Burdens. Burdens. Too much responsibility if you, if, you, if you connect with this person. What if Capricorn moves away from this person? <laughs> it'll be an ending, but it'll be a new beginning with the death card. Remember, that's a rebirth card too. What else would be in store for Capricorn if Capricorn moves away from this person? I have the chariot. Success. There will be success. Some sort of action. What else? Oh my God, I, I kid you not. The Ten of Cups. So that means that somebody's coming in and the person may possibly be toxic too. Just never know what the devil card. But this person is a distraction. You got to keep your word to yourself. In order to, to, to get the Ten of Pentacles. I mean the Ten of Cups. It'll help you get the Ten of Cups. I don't even want to pull any more cards. One more card, Spirit. <laughs> You're going to have to prioritize with the Two of Pentacles. You're going to have to make a decision. And for some of you, it's going to be hard. Because you're... So let me say this. A lot of times when we are in a situation, making sure I'm not hitting my mic, 
a lot of times when we are in a situation with somebody, and especially if it's something that has gone on for so long, a lot of times we are chasing that feeling that we had in the beginning when things were good, especially if it's like a volatile situation where there's good and then there's bad and then there's the making up. Sometimes people get addicted to that. But with this, I'm going to say don't allow yourself to fall into the trap of repeating cycles with people, especially with somebody new. If a person is minimizing your rules or minimizing your boundaries, minimization of boundaries is a lack of respect. I'm telling you this. And people will do what they can get away with and they will, they will have sexual relations with you. They will take gifts from you everything if you allow them so stick by your guns stick to your guns hold on to your boundaries hold on to your morals because you allowing a person to disregard your boundaries makes them have lack of respect for you and they will take whatever they can from you and then dispose of you or come back later when it's convenient because that's how users do people sometimes. And as good as you are, Capricorn, users are drawn to us. Users are drawn to us. Opportunists are drawn to us. Um, so stand by your guns and you're going to meet somebody. It's just, it, it looks like there's going to be a distraction that possibly comes into um, line with some of you. So I'm going to leave you with that Capricorn. Um, let me pull two cards from here. Just two. Just two spirit. That's what I said to abundance, money, increased stability and wealth and stop overthinking it. I'm going to say go with your gut on something that you're overthinking. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.